Electrolysis of water is the decomposition of water into oxygen and hydrogen gas due to the passage of an electric current. The reaction has a standard potential of 1.23 volts, meaning it ideally requires a potential difference of 1.23 volts to split water. This technique can be used to make hydrogen gas and breathable oxygen. As hydrogen is an important industrial commodity, by far most industrial methods produce hydrogen from natural gas instead, in the steam reforming process. History Jan Rudolf Damon and Adrian Peitz van Troostvek used, in 1789, an electrostatic machine to make electricity which was discharged on gold electrodes in a Leyden jar with water. In 1800 Alessandro Volta invented the voltaic pile, and a few weeks later William Nicholson and Anthony Carlyle used it for the electrolysis of water. When Zenobi Gram invented the Gram machine in 1869 electrolysis of water became a cheap method for the production of hydrogen. A method of industrial synthesis of hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis was developed by Dmitry Lakhanov in 1888. Principle. <inaudible> <inaudible> A DC electrical power source is connected to two electrodes, or two plates typically made from some inert metal such as platinum, stainless steel or iridium which are placed in the water. Hydrogen will appear at the cathode where electrons enter the water, and oxygen will appear at the anode. Assuming ideal Faradaic efficiency, the amount of hydrogen generated is twice the amount of oxygen, and both are proportional to the total electrical charge conducted by the solution. However, in many cells competing side reactions occur, resulting in different products and less than ideal Faradaic efficiency. Electrolysis of pure water requires excess energy in the form of overpotential to overcome various activation barriers. Without the excess energy the electrolysis of pure water occurs very slowly or not at all. This is in part due to the limited self-ionization of water. Pure water has an electrical conductivity about one millionth that of seawater. Many electrolytic cells may also lack the requisite electrocatalysts. The efficiency of electrolysis is increased through the addition of an electrolyte such as a salt, an acid or a base and the use of electrocatalysts. Currently the electrolytic process is rarely used in industrial applications since hydrogen can currently be produced more affordably from fossil fuels. Topic. Equations In pure water at the negatively charged cathode, a reduction reaction takes place, with electrons e from the cathode being given to hydrogen cations to form hydrogen gas. The half reaction, balanced with acid, is Reduction at cathode, 2H plus AQ plus 2E minus H2 G at the positively charged anode, an oxidation reaction occurs, generating oxygen gas and giving electrons to the anode to complete the circuit. Oxidation at anode, 2H2O L O2 G plus 4H plus AQ plus 4E minus the same half reactions can also be balanced with base as listed below. Not all half reactions must be balanced with acid or base. Many do, like the oxidation or reduction of water listed here. To add half reactions they must both be balanced with either acid or base. 
The acid balanced reactions predominate in acidic low pH solutions, while the base balanced reactions predominate in basic high pH solutions. Combining either half reaction pair yields the same overall decomposition of water into oxygen and hydrogen. Overall reaction 2H2O L 2H2 G plus O2 G the number of hydrogen molecules produced is thus twice the number of oxygen molecules Assuming equal temperature and pressure for both gases the produced hydrogen gas has therefore twice the volume of the produced oxygen gas the number of electrons pushed through the water is twice the number of generated hydrogen molecules and four times the number of generated oxygen molecules. Thermodynamics <inaudible> 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 Decomposition of pure water into hydrogen and oxygen at standard temperature and pressure is not favorable in thermodynamic terms. Thus, the standard potential of the water electrolysis cell Eocell. Eocathode minus eoanode is minus 1.23 volts at 25 degrees Celsius at pH 0 H plus. m at 25 degrees Celsius with pH 7 H plus equals 1.0 times 10 minus 7 m the potential is unchanged based on the Nernst equation the thermodynamic standard cell potential can be obtained from standard state free energy calculations to find delta G degree and then using the equation delta G degree equals NFE degree where e degree is the cell potential in practice when an electrochemical cell is «driven» toward completion by applying reasonable potential, it is kinetically controlled. Therefore, activation energy, ion mobility diffusion, and concentration, wire resistance, surface hindrance including bubble formation causes electrode area blockage, and entropy, require a greater applied potential to overcome these factors. The amount of increase in potential required is termed the overpotential. Topic: Electrolyte selection. Equals. If the above described processes occur in pure water, H plus cations will be consumed, reduced at the cathode, and O minus anions will consumed, oxidized at the anode. This can be verified by adding a pH indicator to the water. The water near the cathode is basic while the water near the anode is acidic. The negative hydroxide ions that approach the anode mostly combine with the positive hydronium ions H3O+ to form water. The positive hydronium ions that approach the cathode mostly combine with negative hydroxide ions to form water. Relatively few hydronium, hydroxide ions reach the cathode, anode. This can cause a concentration overpotential at both electrodes. Pure water is a fairly good insulator since it has a low autoionization, Kw equals 1.0 times 10 minus 14 at room temperature and thus pure water conducts current poorly, 0.055 microsiemens cm minus 1. Unless a very large potential is applied to cause an increase in the autoionization of water the electrolysis of pure water proceeds very slowly limited by the overall conductivity. If a water-soluble electrolyte is added, the conductivity of the water rises considerably. 
The electrolyte disassociates into cations and anions, the anions rush towards the anode and neutralize the buildup of positively charged H+. There. Similarly, the cations rush towards the cathode and neutralize the buildup of negatively charged O- there. This allows the continuous flow of electricity. Topic: <inaudible> Electrolyte for water electrolysis. Care must be taken in choosing an electrolyte since an anion from the electrolyte is in competition with the hydroxide ions to give up an electron. An electrolyte anion with less standard electrode potential than hydroxide will be oxidized instead of the hydroxide, and no oxygen gas will be produced. A cation with a greater standard electrode potential than a hydrogen ion will be reduced instead, and no hydrogen gas will be produced. The following cations have lower electrode potential than H+, and are therefore suitable for use as electrolyte cations, Li+, Rb+, K+, Cs+, Bar2+, Senior2+, Ca2+, Na+, and Mg2+. Sodium and lithium are frequently used, as they form inexpensive, soluble salts. If an acid is used as the electrolyte, the cation is H+, and there is no competitor for the H+, created by disassociating water. The most commonly used anion is sulfate SO2 as it is very difficult to oxidize, with the standard potential for oxidation of this ion to the peroxidisulfate ion being plus 2.05 volts. Strong acids such as sulfuric acid H2SO4, and strong bases such as potassium hydroxide Co, and sodium hydroxide NaOH are frequently used as electrolytes due to their strong conducting abilities. A solid polymer electrolyte can also be used such as Navion and when applied with a special catalyst on each side of the membrane can efficiently split the water molecule with as little as 1.5 volts. There are also a number of other solid electrolyte systems that have been trialed and developed with a number of electrolysis systems now available commercially that use solid electrolytes. <laughs> Pure water electrolysis Electrolyte-free pure water electrolysis has been achieved by using deep sub db length nanogap electrochemical cells. When the gap distance between cathode and anode even smaller than db length, 1 micron in pure water, around 220 nanometers in distilled water, the double layer regions from two electrodes can overlap with each other, leading to uniformly high electric field distributed inside the entire gap. Such high electric field can significantly enhance the ion transport inside water mainly due to migration, further enhancing self-ionization of water and keeping the whole reaction continuing, and showing small resistance between the two electrodes. In this case, the two half reactions are coupled together and limited by electron transfer steps electrolysis current saturated when further reducing the electrode distance. Techniques <laughs> 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 Fundamental demonstration Two leads, running from the terminals of a battery, are placed in a cup of water with a quantity of electrolyte to establish conductivity in the solution. Using sodium chloride table salt in an electrolyte solution results in chlorine gas rather than oxygen due to a competing half-reaction. 
with the correct electrodes and correct electrolyte, such as baking soda sodium bicarbonate, hydrogen and oxygen gases will stream from the oppositely charged electrodes. Oxygen will collect at the positively charged electrode anode and hydrogen will collect at the negatively charged electrode cathode. Note that hydrogen is positively charged in the H2O molecule, so it ends up at the negative electrode, and vice versa for oxygen. Note that an aqueous solution of water with chloride ions, when electrolyzed, will result in either O- if the concentration of Cl- is low, or in chlorine gas being preferentially discharged if the concentration of Cl- is greater than 25% by mass in the solution. Hoffman voltameter The Hoffman voltameter is often used as a small-scale electrolytic cell. It consists of three joined upright cylinders. The inner cylinder is open at the top to allow the addition of water and the electrolyte. A platinum electrode is placed at the bottom of each of the two side cylinders, connected to the positive and negative terminals of a source of electricity. When current is run through the Hoffman voltameter, gaseous oxygen forms at the anode positive and gaseous hydrogen at the cathode negative. Each gas displaces water and collects at the top of the two outer tubes, where it can be drawn off with a stopcock. Industrial Many industrial electrolysis cells are very similar to Hoffman voltameters, with complex platinum plates or honeycombs as electrodes. Generally the only time hydrogen is intentionally produced from electrolysis is for specific point of use application such as is the case with oxyhydrogen torches or when extremely high purity hydrogen or oxygen is desired. The vast majority of hydrogen is produced from hydrocarbons and as a result contains trace amounts of carbon monoxide among other impurities. The carbon monoxide impurity can be detrimental to various systems including many fuel cells. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> High pressure. High pressure electrolysis is the electrolysis of water with a compressed hydrogen output around 12 to 20 megapascals, 120 to 200 bar, 1740 to 2900 psi. By pressurizing the hydrogen in the electrolyzer, the need for an external hydrogen compressor is eliminated. The average energy consumption for internal compression is around 3%. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> High temperature High temperature electrolysis also HTE or steam electrolysis is a method currently being investigated for water electrolysis with a heat engine. High temperature electrolysis may be preferable to traditional room temperature electrolysis because some of the energy is supplied as heat, which is cheaper than electricity, and because the electrolysis reaction is more efficient at higher temperatures. Topic: Alkaline water. Topic: <inaudible> Polymer electrolyte membrane. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nickel, iron. 
In 2014, researchers announced an electrolysis system made of inexpensive, abundant nickel and iron rather than precious metal catalysts, such as platinum or iridium. The nickel metal, nickel oxide structure is more active than pure nickel metal or pure nickel oxide alone. The catalyst significantly lowers the required voltage. Also nickel iron batteries are being investigated for use as combined batteries and electrolysis for hydrogen production. Those battleizers could be charged and discharged like conventional batteries, and would produce hydrogen when fully charged. <laughs> Nanogap electrochemical cells In 2017, researchers reported using nanogap electrochemical cells to achieve high-efficiency electrolyte-free pure water electrolysis at room temperature. In nanogap electrochemical cells, the two electrodes are so close to each other even smaller than dB length in pure water that the mass transport rate can be even higher than the electron transfer rate, leading to two half reactions coupled together and limited by electron transfer step. Experiments shows that the electrical current density from pure water electrolysis can be even larger than that from 1 mole per liter sodium hydroxide solution. The mechanism, virtual breakdown mechanism, is completely different from the well-established traditional electrochemical theory, due to such nanogap size effect. Topic. Applications About 5% of hydrogen gas produced worldwide is created by electrolysis. The majority of this hydrogen produced through electrolysis is a side product in the production of chlorine and caustic soda. This is a prime example of a competing side reaction. 2 sodium chloride plus 2 H2O Cl2 plus H2 plus 2 Now the electrolysis of brine, a water, sodium chloride mixture, is only half the electrolysis of water since the chloride ions are oxidized to chlorine rather than water being oxidized to oxygen. Thermodynamically, this would not be expected since the oxidation potential of the chloride ion is less than that of water, but the rate of the chloride reaction is much greater than that of water, causing it to predominate. The hydrogen produced from this process is either burned converting it back to water, used for the production of specialty chemicals, or various other small-scale applications. Water electrolysis is also used to generate oxygen for the International Space Station. Hydrogen may later be used in a fuel cell as a storage method of energy and water. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Efficiency. Topic: <laughs> Industrial output Efficiency of modern hydrogen generators is measured by energy consumed per standard volume of hydrogen megajoule per cubic meter, assuming standard temperature and pressure of the H2. The lower the energy used by a generator, the higher would be its efficiency. A 100% efficient electrolyzer would consume 39.4 kilowatt hours per kilogram, 142 megajoules per kilogram of hydrogen, 12749 joules per liter, 12.75 megajoules per cubic meter. 
practical electrolysis using a rotating electrolyzer at 15 bars pressure may consume 50 kilowatt hours per kilogram 180 megajoules per kilogram and a further 15 kilowatt hours 54 megajoules if the hydrogen is compressed for use in hydrogen cars electrolyzer vendors provide efficiencies based on enthalpy to assess the claimed efficiency of an electrolyzer it is important to establish how it was defined by the vendor i.e. what enthalpy value, what current density, etc. There are two main technologies available on the market, alkaline and proton exchange membrane electrolyzers. Alkaline electrolyzers are cheaper in terms of investment they generally use nickel catalysts, but less efficient, PEM electrolyzers, conversely, are more expensive they generally use expensive platinum group metal catalysts but are more efficient and can operate at higher current densities, and can therefore be possibly cheaper if the hydrogen production is large enough. Conventional alkaline electrolysis has an efficiency of about 70%. Accounting for the accepted use of the higher heat value because inefficiency via heat can be redirected back into the system to create the steam required by the catalyst, average working efficiencies for PEM electrolysis are around 80%. This is expected to increase to between 82 to 86 percent before 2030. Theoretical efficiency for PEM electrolyzers are predicted up to 94 percent. Considering the industrial production of hydrogen, and using current best processes for water electrolysis, PEM or alkaline electrolysis which have an effective electrical efficiency of 70–80%, producing 1 kg of hydrogen which has a specific energy of 143 MJ per kilogram or about 40 kWh per kilogram requires 50–55 kWh of electricity. At an electricity cost of 6 cents per kilowatt hour, as set out in the Department of Energy Hydrogen Production targets for 2015, the hydrogen cost is $3 per kilogram. With the range of natural gas prices from 2016 as shown in the graph Hydrogen Production Tech Team Roadmap, November 2017 putting the cost of SMR hydrogen at between $1.20 and $1.50, the cost price of hydrogen via electrolysis is still over double 2015 DOE hydrogen target prices. The U.S. DOE target price for hydrogen in 2020 is $2.30 per kilogram, requiring an electricity cost of $0.037 per kWh, which is achievable given recent PPA tenders for wind and solar in many regions. This puts the $4 per GGEH2 dispensed objective well within reach, and close to a slightly elevated natural gas production cost for SMR. In other parts of the world, steam methane reforming is between $1-3 per kilograms on average. This makes production of hydrogen via electrolysis cost competitive in many regions already, as outlined by Nell Hydrogen and others, including an article by the IEA examining the conditions which could lead to a competitive advantage for electrolysis. Topic: <laughs> Overpotential Real water electrolyzers require higher voltages for the reaction to proceed. The part that exceeds 1.23 volts is called over-potential or over-voltage, and represents any kind of loss and non-ideality in the electrochemical process. 
For a well-designed cell the largest overpotential is the reaction overpotential for the 4-electron oxidation of water to oxygen at the anode, electrocatalysts can facilitate this reaction, and platinum alloys are the state of the art for this oxidation. Developing a cheap, effective electrocatalyst for this reaction would be a great advance, and is a topic of current research. There are many approaches, among them a 30 year old recipe for molybdenum sulfide, graphene quantum dots, carbon nanotubes, perovskite, and nickel nickel oxide. The simpler two-electron reaction to produce hydrogen at the cathode can be electrocatalyzed with almost no overpotential by platinum, or in theory a hydrogenase enzyme. If other, less effective, materials are used for the cathode e.g. graphite, large overpotentials will appear. Thermodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> The electrolysis of water in standard conditions requires a theoretical minimum of 237 kJ of electrical energy input to dissociate each mole of water, which is the standard Gibbs free energy of formation of water. It also requires energy to overcome the change in entropy of the reaction. Therefore, the process cannot proceed below 286 kJ per mole if no external heat, energy is added. Since each mole of water requires two moles of electrons, and given that the Faraday constant F represents the charge of a mole of electrons 96,485 C per mole, it follows that the minimum voltage necessary for electrolysis is about 1.23 V. If electrolysis is carried out at high temperature, this voltage reduces. This effectively allows the electrolyzer to operate at more than 100% electrical efficiency. In electrochemical systems this means that heat must be supplied to the reactor to sustain the reaction. In this way thermal energy can be used for part of the electrolysis energy requirement. In a similar way the required voltage can be reduced below 1 volt if fuels such as carbon, alcohol, biomass are reacted with water, PEM-based electrolyzer in low temperature or oxygen ions solid oxide electrolyte-based electrolyzer in high temperature. This results in some of the fuel's energy being used to assist the electrolysis process and can reduce the overall cost of hydrogen produced, however, observing the entropy component and other losses, voltages over 1.48 volts are required for the reaction to proceed at practical current densities the thermoneutral voltage. In the case of water electrolysis, Gibbs free energy represents the minimum work necessary for the reaction to proceed, and the reaction enthalpy is the amount of energy both work and heat that has to be provided so the reaction products are at the same temperature as the reactant i.e. standard temperature for the values given above. Potentially, an electrolyzer operating at 1.48 volts would be 100% efficient equals equals see also